hands on their unemployment money. Something is fishy here, and our money expert Jennifer Westoven is looking into that. That really makes me upset. Yeah, and I mean, I get upset right now when I get charges, and I have a job, so I can only imagine that if you don't have an income that you can depend on, and then you're suddenly seeing all these extra charges and the money that you're holding so dear, that little bit of reserve you've got, it must be terrifying. A study by the AP found that in 30 states, if you file for unemployment, you'll be you'll get an offer that you could get the money on a debit card but be very careful because it does vary from state to state but you could get hit with fees just to withdraw your money you could get hit with overdraft fees big ones and don't you dare call customer service they're going to charge you for that too so just be aware that they can be nickel and diming you at a time when you don't have much to spare one union is telling its workers look if you can just skip the card try to get the money direct deposited to your bank Wall Street bonuses getting some scrutiny. They've sparked a lot of anger. Now sources tell CNN that New York's attorney general has subpoenaed the Bank of America CEO Ken Lewis. Prosecutors want to know basically about the Merrill Lynch bonuses. Merrill Lynch gave out $3.6 billion in bonuses to executives just before it was taken over by Bank of America. So basically what they're looking for is, is is there any evidence that maybe Merrill Lynch tried to push the bonuses forward so they could make sure they could get the payout? The Oscars may be all about the art of acting, but which movies and actors with the buzz of the boardroom? We're talking about ROI. I love that. It's return on investment. Forbes says it's Robert Downey Jr. in Iron Man. For every $1 that he made, he generated $52 in gross profit for the studio. And the best actress in this case, Mamma Mia, Meryl Streep in the ABBA musical. She, it looks like she may, earned a lot less for the studio, Robin, but uh -huh. it's because she made a lot more. Uh -huh. <laughs> there's personal economy and then there's a studio's yeah. economy, right? <laughs> All right, thank you. Yesterday's random winner in the Morning Express Challenge was Socratic Will. You see Socratic Will all the time in the chat room, I do. don't you? <laughs> yeah, you want to get on the chat room? We have many of the chat rooms going right now. Go to cnn.com slash Robin and meet Socratic Will for yourself. He gets a picture and we have a grand prize as well. So you need to be playing because the grand prize is a trip or two to Atlanta. So free travel in this economy. Go to CNN.com slash Robin.